Welcome to part 2 of the Bagot tutorial. At this point you should have viewed part 1 for a general introduction to the Bagot tool. And in this section of the tutorial we will demonstrate how to install and configure the Bagot and Java Runtime Environment programs. The Java Runtime Environment is often referred to by its acronym JRE. This section will take approximately 30 minutes to complete. There are two software programs that will be required on your computer to run the Bagot program. You'll need to, of course, install the Bagot program, but you will also need to have a Java Runtime Environment installed. In this section, we will take you through the installation and configuration of both of these software programs. Generally speaking, the installation is not very complex. In this section, I will be demonstrating installing both the JRE and Bagot to the C drive on my local computer. Note that to install programs to your C drive, you will need administrator's rights on your computer. So therefore, most of you will need to contact your IT support representative to install the Bagot and JRE programs. However, for those of you who are comfortable with installing and configuring software on your computer, it is possible to install both the JRE and Bagot onto any device that you have access to, including your local share drive or a removable storage device, as we will see demonstrated in parts 3 and 4 of this tutorial. However, regardless of where you install the JRE and Bagot, you will need administrator rights to configure the Java underscore home environmental variable. We recommend that if you are not comfortable with the technical aspects of your computer, that you request assistance from your IT support representative to install and configure the JRE and Bagot programs. There are four steps to installing Bagot, and I will demonstrate all four steps. The first step is to check to see if the Java runtime environment is installed on my computer, which may be the case as there are several programs available that rely on the JRE. In step 2 I will demonstrate how to install the JRE on my computer's local C drive, for which I have administrator access. In step 3 I will demonstrate how to configure and view the Java Home environmental variable. That will be of interest for you even if your IT support representative installs the JRE and Bagot programs for you. In step 4 I will demonstrate how to install the Bagot program itself. You may want to download the Bagot User Guide, as these steps will also be documented there and may help you to follow along as I proceed through the demonstration. I first want to check to see if a Java Runtime Environment is installed on my computer. I can view various components installed on my computer via the Control Panel Utility. How I access the Control Panel is through the Start button, which is found in the lower left corner of the screen, then selecting the Settings option, and then selecting the Control Panel option. This will open the control panel interface. If a Java runtime environment is installed on my computer, I will see a Java item in the control panel listing, as we see here on the slide. If you don't see Java in the list, you will need to install the JRE on your computer. If you do see Java in your list, you'll need to do a little bit more exploration. Select the Java item by double-clicking on it in the list. This will display the Java control panel, which is the configuration tool for your Java environment. In the Java Control Panel, select the Java tab, and then select the View button to access the JRE environmental settings. In the JRE Runtime Settings display, you will see the version of the JRE that is installed and the directory where it is installed on your computer. Make a note of the path, as this will be used to configure your Java Home environmental variable later, which is the variable that the programs running on your computer use to locate the JRE programs on your computer disk. Now I'll switch over to my computer to demonstrate how to complete these tasks. Here we are looking at my computer screen, and what I'd like to do is go out and investigate to see if the Java Runtime environment is already configured on my computer. And how we accomplish this is by accessing the control panel, which we do by selecting the Start button that is in the lower left-hand corner of your display, selecting the Settings option, and then the Control Panel option. This is going to display my computer's control panel, which gives me a listing of various components that are installed on my computer. And as we look at the listing here, we see that I do have a Java item in my list of components. So in this case, I'm going to explore a little further. I'm going to double click on the Java item and this is going to display the Java control panel. And I'm going to select the Java tab and then select the view to view the Java runtime environment settings. As I look at the Java runtime environment settings, this gives me a couple of really interesting pieces of information. 
first of all I see the version of the product that is installed and I also see where in my directory system the Java runtime environment software is installed. So in this case it's installed on my G drive in the slash JRE directory. So in this case I would not have to install the Java runtime environment. If however you come to the control panel and you do not see Java in your list you will then need to install the Java runtime environment on your computer, which is what we are going to demonstrate in the next section. If as you go through this process you determine that you already have the Java runtime environment installed on your computer, you can skip part two of this section and proceed to part three of the installation section where we look at configuring the Java home environmental variable. This is part two of the Bagot installation instructions and I'm going to demonstrate how to install a Java runtime environment on my computer. If you've determined that you already have a JRE installed on your computer, you can skip this section and proceed to part three, configuring the Java home environment variable. I'm going to switch over to my computer to demonstrate how to download and install the JRE. You can access the JRE application from either the Oracle or CNET websites. However, I'm going to demonstrate installing from the Oracle website as Oracle now owns the Java code base. So here we are once again looking at my computer screen and what I want to do is install the Java runtime environment. Prior to installing the Java runtime environment though, let's go out and take a quick look at our control panel which I just demonstrated in the previous section. But as we look at the control panel now, you see that there no longer is a Java item in my listing. So this means that the Java runtime environment is not installed on my computer, and I'm going to go out and install it from the Oracle website. So I'm going to go ahead and close my control panel by Xing out from the upper right hand corner. And what I've done is opened an Internet Explorer window, a browser window here, and I've already set it up to go out to the Oracle website through the link that was listed on the slide. And here we are looking at the Java Downloads page. And as you look at the page, you'll see over here in the lower right hand corner, there is an option to download the JRE. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option, Download JRE. And it's going to give me a couple of prompts that I need to go through before I can actually download the code. So I need to tell it what type of computer I'm running on. So I'm running on a Windows platform. And that I agree to their licensing agreement, which you will probably want to read and review prior to continuing. So I'm going to select the Continue button. And this now gives me a couple of options for files to download. And I'm just going to go ahead and download the Windows Offline installation that you see here in the middle of the screen by simply clicking on the link. And this is going to give me an option if I want to go ahead and run the installation or I could save this file to a uh, local folder on my disk and run it explicitly. But I'm just going to go ahead and run the installation from here since that's the easiest way to proceed. So the computer is now downloading the software and it's going to ask me if I want to run the software installer. And it may go through a series of configuration screens here. So I have the installer welcome screen and you could change the destination folder but since I'm just going to install this to my C drive I'm not going to alter where I want the Java program installed. If, however, you were going to try and install this to your local drive or to a shared drive, you would want to go out and change the destination folder. I'm just going to go ahead and proceed with the install by hitting the install button in the lower right hand corner. Now we just see the progress box and we now just wait for the Java installer to continue and proceed with its installation process. And when the installation successfully concludes, you'll see the Java Setup Complete window that gives me the message that I have successfully installed Java. And I can go ahead and close the box. And Java should now be installed on my computer. So now that the installation is concluded, what I'd like to do is just go out and verify that Java is now installed on my computer. So I'll, how I can accomplish that is by going down and selecting the Start button, selecting the Settings option and the Control Panel, and as we look at the control panel, we now see that I have a Java option in my listing. I will double click on that. 
and in the Java control panel I will select my Java tab. On the Java runtime environment settings page I'm going to select the view button and this is going to display the various Java runtime environment settings. As I mentioned, we have the 1.6.0 underscore 24 version of the product installed. And the other interesting field to look at here, and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit so we can see the complete path, is the directory to where the Java program is installed. And this will be an important path to note for when we configure the Java home environment variable in the next section. So I'm all done with this. My Java environment is installed. I can go out and cancel out of this box cancel out of this box and close my control panel and close my browser window. And that concludes the installation of the Java runtime environment.